Man. Yeah, I saw a post and I, it kind of struck me funny. It was about how people have great admiration for the Adamses and such in their life and lifestyle. Which was just, a, you know, a depiction of Hollywood. It's going to get a little deep, but bear with me. Chaz Adams, or Charles Adams, was a creator of books such as Our Crowd. You see, I'll have pictures of before and after. And this is way before the Adams family. In fact, these were just characterages uh, before the name. Equally so, uh, Angus Oblong created the Oblongs. He did the same thing. He had characterages of different people and whatnot, or different abnormalities. And... Um, a studio came by and said, we have an idea. we like to use you as the catalyst for it. And um, so Chaz and Agnes Amblong literally had the same type of uh, creation story. And one thing about Chaz Adams is he was a, a New Yorker uh, a cartoonist. He would do the, the political cartoons and whatnot in the New Yorker back in the 1920s and 30s, I think it was. So... Yeah, I have a small collection of his stuff from the from the '60s, and the funny part is um, when you when when you see somebody from an organized belief system that exemplifies you know being strange or creative or living in your own little bubble, they have more power to you. But my point here is understand the source, understand its origins, understand its creation. Because, quite frankly, the Adams Family, as much as we love it, and I do too, uh, I like the older stuff better. The fact is, in the movie Wednesday, the gentleman uh, who plays Gomez, people are critiquing him really hard because he wasn't like another John Aston, for example. But truth be told, that gentleman, Lewis, I think his name is, um, he was more canon than um, John Aston was. In fact, John Aston had a lot of creative input in his character as Gomez Adams. So, with that said, you know, do you like the original? Or do you like the perversion? And case in point, and then there are like three or four of them. A samurai, you know, the, the, the samurai sword, the katana. People say, oh, you know, it's, it, his soul's, you know, the, the samurai sword is, or the katana is part, you know, part of his soul, that kind of deal. You know, metaphorically speaking, whatever it might be. But one thing the samurai doesn't have regarding that sword, any of them really, wakazashi, katana, panto, would be the maker's mark in the tang. Because it was the maker who made it. It was the samurai who would swing it big difference where you know you, you have the renownness of the samurai but he wouldn't be anywhere unless the guy was banging his hammer making that damn thing and obviously he put his name on it so you would have more appreciation of what the skill set of the samurai or the skill set of the maker same goes for hold on a sec hold on I just had the analogy forgot it and I got it back aphasia TBI, you gotta love it. The other one is um, back when my motorcycles cost over $100,000, there was a contest between Jesse James and uh, Orange County Choppers. Well, Jesse James made the analogy. Uh, I make my motorcycles, they patch together parts and pieces to create something. And it's true. And how much true is it? The contest I witnessed was that Jesse James... Uh, way before the contest was even mentioned, he was over in Israel learning blacksmithing from a world-renowned blacksmith. So when he made his chopper, he blacksmithed it versus someone going off to a part shelf and putting something together, literally split. So the end products are usually going to be seen as the same. It's the soul, the essence, the 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 uh, root creation that has greater admiration for some. I'm one of those kind of people. So when I saw the post about how this organization 
appreciates the atoms. I'm like, how surface are you? You know, Chaz Adams or Charles Adams was a hell of a, 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 a misanthrope, if anything. He also had a very sense of humor. I forget what they called it, but it was called like setup humor. So when you saw a grandmama on the on the on a railroad track and the family's driving the uh, train, you don't see the the end result, but you see the setup. So that type of humor was always a part of him as well. So what does this have to do with the price of eggs? When you see certain comments of very critical people, and they themselves are very surface and short when they're glass houses don't throw rocks sometimes people in glass houses need to see in the and see that the fact that the glass is a mirror and they need to look at it because on the surface no matter what admiration you have the Adams family were never the Adams family it was a creation of Hollywood Paramount the actual my crowd was the creation of Chaz Adams. And that's where I go. And when it comes to motorcycles, Jesse James. And also, when it goes to katanas, you look for the maker mark. Essentially, folks, if you're going to have admiration for something, study its soul. One way, shape, form, or another. Hail Satan.